Um, so, Charlie, first, big things in the news this week. Harry from the cabins, not much success with his horses, um, but sometimes that's the way that it goes, isn't it? Yeah, not not much success at all, but I think he was successful on the cabins itself. Yeah. So, you know, if anyone watched the conclusion of last week, they... They didn't go home together, right? But but they but they they remain friends. Yeah, as he explained to us also. So, yeah, definitely definitely positive vibes coming from him. And a great guest on the podcast as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Constitution Hill now favourite for the Supreme. He was bang impressive, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. And he could probably be shorter still. I mean, he was being quoted down to seven to four, I think. Yeah, I think it's eased but out to I- fifteen to eight now, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, look, actually, much. this far in advance, probably not. Yeah. Probably not advisable. There's no more. The, you, look, you, like as in, there won't be any more movement at that price. You wouldn't imagine. Yeah. So probably don't back. But but you know, if you got on at those big prices like we mentioned, then well done you, and you've probably already been paid out because yeah, that, that horse will win. Boris Johnson, though, a bit less impressive this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, to say the least, I suppose. Um, Bojo hasn't hasn't really been been covering himself in glory and to be honest we're all a bit fed up so i can only imagine it's a matter of time for him one person who's not fed up though andy murray is through to a semi-final in australia i mean would you believe it what the guy how old is he how how many hips does he have or hip replacement he's definitely got one metal <laughs> one yeah that's it uh no well done him he's 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 playing really well and you know like at that age good on him well done and from the men to the women emma radicanu tough draw in the australian open do you back her i mean i haven't actually seen who she's playing but she's playing sloan stevens oh really yeah oh, gee, that is tough uh but no she, she well she obviously had a disappointing return to 2022 but it's worth remembering that she obviously had been suffering from covid so she 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 hadn't had much time to practice basically and look she you know it's it's not going to be all rosy you know in her career there will be ups and there will be downs and look she's had some brilliant ups so far but we're it's it's all about how you get through those downs isn't it I think that's yeah i think we've got to be a little we've got to cut her some slack uh Absolutely. anyway england nash's final test starts tonight glad to see it over <laughs> I, I can't say i've watched the ball live to be honest <laughs> it's a bit past my bedtime so i don't do that but yeah a bit of a trouncing for the english lucky luckily it wasn't a whitewash let's put it that way yeah that's the one uh, silver lining to what's been a pretty abysmal tour so far uh other news in australia australia recorded its hottest day ever 50.7 degrees centigrade cause for worry that's was well, really hot <laughs> for, for one thing um and i don't know is it is it a cause for worry? yeah it was sort of like just signs of of global warming i guess is that what your point is that what you're getting at? that is what i was pointing at yeah uh, and finally prince andrew what's next <laughs> i don't know what's next but like prison maybe <laughs> like, weird question he has indeed been stripped of his royal titles and military titles uh we'll leave it there for the little news roundup